My amp unit. Anything interesting happen overnight while we all were asleep? Or doing other things? <laughs> like trying to revive your channel? If you're the Amplified Man. Because I'm guessing none of us were actually watching WWE backstage. Not that it isn't a good show, because it is. It's just tucked in obscurity at 11 p.m. on Tuesday nights. People forget about it. I know I do. But something tells me they're not going to forget about next Tuesday at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Because CM Punk has indeed returned to WWE TV. Because this is WWE TV, I assure you, they are working hand in hand with FS1. Now, yes, I know. I want to get this out of the way right from the jump. I'm not going to play this game with you guys. BC, he's not actually part of WWE. He's a part of Fox. The contract is Fox. Guys, I understand the technicalities. I understand the details. I don't need anybody telling me about them. Trust me, I know them all too well. But if you honestly think this isn't the gateway... To bigger things within that organization, within that company, you're sadly mistaking and you're lying to yourself. WWE put out a statement already. This is already on their website as their top story. But he's not a part of WWE at all. Come on, guys. Yes, I understand this is a Fox deal. WWE's top story, a WWE quote. This is their statement. After a nearly six-year absence from WWE TV, CM Punk made a shocking unannounced appearance on Tuesday night's episode of WWE Backstage, FS1's new weekly studio show. And then WWE went into all of his accolades in CM Punk's statement from last night, basically letting everyone know that they have to tune in next Tuesday. WWE's promoting CM Punk in this show. It's WWE TV. We all know this, so you can give me all the technicalities all you want. We all know what this means. CM Punk is now rubbing shoulders with all of these WWE slash NXT superstars on a weekly basis. Renee Young, production... You honestly think Vince McMahon doesn't know any of this or Vince McMahon isn't giving that show all of these superstars? You honestly think Vince McMahon is not being told about anything? Yes, Fox would have final say, but they're working hand in hand with McMahon. This story, from what I'm being told, was up on WWE.com and still is as their top story within seven minutes after that show. They're going to milk this. The contract offers will be extended. I'm not saying Punk will be wrestling next month or even WrestleMania. Although, I wouldn't put it past Punk or this company. But he is going to be showing. He could be fucking in Chicago. Survivor Series, I bet you. He's going to make some type of an appearance. I mean, you're going to see CM Punk in that company. Literally WWE, not just Fox. You're going to see that in the near future. I told you guys this was inevitable. I'm not going to pat myself on the back or toot my own horn or talk about how right I was when I took so much heat over the last couple of years every time I said Punk will be back in WWE. And you had all of Punk's diehard fans saying, you don't know anything, Amplified Man. If you got that on your wedding day, you would never show up either. Let the dude live his life. And I'm like, I'm letting any of you, everyone live their life. What are you talking? I'm just saying one day soon, you will see CM Punk back in WWE. That's all I said. And guess who was right? It, this is Fox BC. I'm telling you, they're always going to have some type of an excuse. Listen to my words. Punk has already started the process of his WWE return. And Cody said that just over a month ago, or two months ago, when he was asked about... CM Punk not showing up at AEW when they were in Chicago. And Punk said, at this point, I wouldn't doubt that he goes back to WWE. Cody knew something. And he was right just like the Amplified Man was. And it all started last night on FS1. And I told you, I put up a video yesterday, guys. <laughs> and it basically, there was no basically. I came right out and said that it's imminent. It's imminent. And it's coming. CM Punk could show up by Survivor Series Chicago. 
And uh, I, I, even I didn't know how right I was and how true my words were because it happened even before Chicago in Survivor Series. He showed up last night on backstage. So I wanted to get the logistics out of the way. I understand. I, I know it's a Fox deal, but if you think these are not working hand in hand, if you think WWE isn't already all over this, if you think CM Punk hasn't already admitted that he is willing to hear offers from Triple H and Vince McMahon and that company, then you don't know the truth. Punk has already admitted he is willing to hear the offers, and my guess, he's already heard some, and some things are already being signed. Vince McMahon and CM Punk are once again in cahoots. I assure you, this is happening. It's going down. Listen, before I go any further, guys, I, I want to send a personal thank you to all of my Amplified unit out there. You guys were rock stars yesterday. It was a rough day on the channel, man, um, where the tube is asking for all of these new uh, uh, policy arrangements. So as creators, we have to click a bunch of new stuff and and make sure that we're, we're on the right settings. It's, it's a bunch of nonsense, but... Uh, we have to play along as uh, creators sometimes here on this platform. So I'm playing along and I'm in settings, which I don't like to go to because usually that means I'm going to press buttons that I shouldn't be pressing. Sure enough, I press this weird button where it's like a privacy setting, but what it does is it hides your channel and it basically, wham, deletes your channel without actually deleting it because it takes a long time to recover it. And if you're the amplified man who stays out of settings as much as possible anyway, I didn't even know what was going on. I just knew that all of my subs were telling me that my channel was gone. And that the tube was telling them uh, that the channel no longer exists. Uh, unsubscribe now if you want. Um, it, it was... It was crazy. I mean, people were thinking that the amplified man's channel, something happened to it, so they were unsubscribed. Literally, over 400 people in a three to four hour period, um, had to unsubscribe. And I hopefully, hopefully they all come back and understand that this was just a temporary issue. But, uh, I had, uh, almost half a thousand subscribers have to be unsubscribed. So, uh, once again, this channel took a huge hit yesterday, um, through no fault, um, but my own. But still, this platform has to have better ways to recover the channel once something like that happens. Long story short, um, this channel went dark for hours yesterday. And I, and I thank goodness I had Twitter to uh, engage with you guys and let you guys know what was happening. And I want to send a thank you again to all my AMP unit because as much as you guys always tell me that I'm always there for you um, in times that either you're just down and out or you just, you know, you need someone to entertain you. You need someone to lift up your spirits, make you laugh. You guys always tell me thank you for being there for you. Um, thank you for always being there for me. And that was one of those times where I didn't know what was going on with my channel. I really didn't. And thankfully, thankfully I had uh, so many of you guys over on Twitter. And we were engaged. You guys were telling me what was up. I was asking you, you know, what do you see? You guys were giving me exactly what you were seeing. And you guys kind of helped me along the process when I could have honestly been off my rocker and been flipping out and going ballistic because in times like that of panic, <laughs> I get extra amplified. I had to calm down and luckily you guys were uh, kind of going through the process with me and when it was all said and done, we ended up recouping it. We lost a lot yesterday. We lost some videos, I believe. We lost a ton of subs. Um, through no fault of their own. I mean, they didn't know what was going on. They didn't know if my channel, what was happening. So they wanted to fucking make sure that they aborted before, uh, something happened to them, <laughs> which wouldn't have happened. It was just my channel, but I totally understand. And hopefully they all understand that it was just a, uh, a major debacle. Everything is good. Um, we've already this morning, as of now, recouped over a hundred subscribers have already come back. So that's awesome. But there's still over 300 that I hope understand the Amplified Man screwed up. Please come back. Um, each and every one of you are appreciated. And I want to send out honest, honestly, guys, thank you so much. Um, everything is, is headed, I believe, back in the right direction. But, uh, there was a moment yesterday, guys, I'm not going to lie. I thought the channel was done. I, I, I literally saw three years of work like that just 
<laughs> and one button that I pressed. It was like uh, end of the world type shit, you know. It, it was it was rough. So I wanted to thank you guys. Now I can move on. Um, back to this uh, situation. Now. Let's detail exactly what happened last night. Renee Young, Booker T, Samoa Joe, Adam Cole, Page. They were the panel. All right. I didn't see this live, so I, I, I'm, I'm guessing <laughs> what I saw, um, those, that was the panel. I, I mean, the focus wasn't really on them, but I think it was Booker, Samoa Joe, Adam Cole, and Page. Renee Young asked the panel if they were ready. Ready to do what? They didn't know. The panel looked like deers in headlights. They, they just, they didn't know. You could hear them all say, what are we doing? And Renee Young just has this grin on her face. And cult of personality starts blaring through the studio. Punk is right back at home. He comes out and you can tell he's feeling it. He gets right up in front of the camera so close that you can't even see his face. It was so dark. But he says, it's as simple as this. Just when they think they've got the answers, I change the culture. I'll see you here next week. And he gives Renee Young a high five, and it goes off the air. That was it. Short, sweet, shocks the pro wrestling world. Even when you know it's coming like the Amplified Man, and you know it's imminent, it still is shocking. The panel, again, didn't know, or at least that's what we're told. And judging by their reactions, that looks to be a solid conclusion. It does not look like Samoa Joe, Adam Cole, Page, and Booker knew at all. Um, you see Paige's, uh, uh, <laughs> Paige's look, and she's Paige is screaming out, Is this a rib? Is this a rib? Adam Cole, the look on his face is like, You gotta be kidding me. Booker T, you can hear him saying, I knew this, I knew this. What he meant is obviously he knew this was imminent as well and he knew exactly what he was hearing, but he didn't know it was last night and that's why when he was yelling, I knew this, I knew this, you wouldn't be saying I knew this if you were supposed to know what was coming up. I hope that makes sense, you know what I mean? If Booker T knew that was what was coming up, you wouldn't be saying, I knew it, I knew it. That's a genuine reaction. So, and Samoa Joe was just like, wow. Watch Samoa Joe during this. He had like this... Is this really happening, look? It was awesome. You could tell they really didn't know that it was happening right then and there. Everybody but Renee Young, obviously. Renee has known for quite some time because for two weeks now, Renee Young has been teasing this huge surprise. However, we're being told that the deal itself with CM Punk and Fox wasn't actually inked until just a few days ago. Still yet to be confirmed, but that's the latest report. So it seems like they both knew what was happening, but the final deal wasn't actually inked until just a few days ago. That's what we're being told. Again, I already issued WWE's issued statement that happened literally minutes after this. So WWE is already jumping on this, and Vince McMahon is going to go full throttle with this whole CM Punk deal, as he should. It is the biggest news story in pro wrestling, man. This is big time. You can sit there again and say, oh, it's just Fox has nothing to do with WWE, or it's not literally with WWE, you're fooling yourself. CM Punk is back on, as WWE has called it, WWE TV. That's what it is. So, you know, take your technicalities and your little minor details, because that's all they are to me, and keep them to yourself, man. This, you're just denying the inevitable. This is going to lead to other... Do you honestly think he's going to be doing this and then he's going to show up in AEW? It's not going to happen, guys. Or shoot, the Amplified Man at that point <laughs> would be the most shocked wrestling fan on the planet. And, you know, and, and that leads to a couple of questions. I, I'll get to AJ Lee in a second. And, and, and first, I want to start out with, you know, would AEW have been a better decision? For the fans, absolutely. For CM Punk, you can't say that. That's Phil Brooks's decision. And if there's more money or he thinks there's better opportunities within the WWE bubble and doing a show like this for WWE or talking about WWE and not AEW, then that's what Phil Brooks decided was best for him. As fans, no doubt, for the wrestling world, CM Punk showing up in AEW would have rocked the very foundation, the core that pro wrestling sits upon. 
There's no question. And it would have been so cool to see him over in AEW and making that splash because that would have turned the pro wrestling world upside down. But again, that's not the decision he went with. He decided to go WWE. And I think all along, that's what was in his dome piece. He's been talking more and more about WWE and about how uh, he forgives for the most part everybody and he's willing to move on and accept offers from WWE or at least listen to them. He's been saying more and more over the months, you can kind of see where CM Punk's head was at. He wanted back in the WWE bubble. I think he feels that's where the opportunities are. And he just, through his words alone, he just didn't trust AEW. He didn't trust those that are at the helm. And he said that. He said that every time he talked to somebody in AEW, they would then spin it like they're best friends. And that talks are evolving between the two. And CM Punk always felt like there was some shadiness there. And I think he has a big issue with Chris Jericho. I really do. You guys remember after this thing all unfolded with CM Punk, Chris Jericho tried to get Punk on his podcast, Talk is Jericho, I believe it's called. And Punk said he thought that was real shady because he was just trying to get some clicks and that it wasn't a sincere thing. And that's why he ended up going on Colt Cabanas. And we all know how that ended up. But I think there's still some like shadiness that Punk feels toward Chris Jericho. And then obviously the Bucks had some talks with him and then that spun into CM Punk is talking to AEW and Punk never fully trusted them. Again, these are through his own words. So I think Punk said, shit, I, if I can't trust WWE, I can't trust AEW. I got to pick the, the best of both evils. <laughs> so he went back with Vince McMahon. And again, I know he's not technically with Vince, BC. I understand the technicalities. I'm not fooled. He's back in bed with Vince. I, I, I'm not, you know, I, I understand what this is going to lead to, this Fox deal. Um, or at least McMahon would be an absolute fool to let this slip through his fingers. I mean, WWE needed this so badly. Whoever landed CM Punk was going to, or at least uh, even on an FS1 talk show at 11 p.m. on Tuesdays, talking about WWE, talking about his product, this is huge for Vince McMahon. The hottest free agent, as he's called in the past over five years, has landed on a show talking about his product, not with the competition. This is huge for Vince. So he'd be a fool to uh, let this slip uh, through and, and not have CM Punk as a part of WrestleMania 36 in some form. Again, it doesn't have to be a match, but just having him show up. And again, I think probably Survivor Series, maybe even. But uh, this is huge. You know, and everybody knows that I had my issues with Punk. Actually, I don't have any. It, it, Punk has issues with me. I, uh, I made some some truthful videos about his UFC endeavor and some truthful videos about how I feel that uh, AJ Lee has not been back in WWE in five years because of the CM Punk situation. N I'm not saying she was in a basement somewhere being held. <laughs> you can't go back. But absolutely, when you're in a relationship like that and somebody feels so strongly against an organization, the other person probably is going to be... It's just not going to be able to show up. It's not going to be able to say hello or partake in... First evers like Evolution or the first ever Women's Royal Rumble or Ladder Match or all of these first evers that I feel AJ Lee should have been a part of, you know, because CM Punk was at such odds with WWE, she had to stand by her husband. And, and I totally understand that. But I, I just wish things could have went differently. And I wish Punk kind of said, hey, man, you have no problem with them outside of just my situation. They always loved you. Go to Evolution and just say hello, even if you don't want to wrestle. You know, you should be able to do this. And AJ Lee never did that. I feel Punk could have done more. That's all I ever said. And on top of that, yes, I was brutally honest about his UFC fights, which were just horrendous to say the least. Um, Punk didn't like that, and Punk blocked me on social media. So I understand that. Sometimes being a reviewer and a critic and saying harsh things uh, that are very truthful but hard-hitting is going to piss off a lot of people um, in the industry. Um, Punk is probably not the first. He's just the only one to go ahead and block me. I understand. Um, but I have no hard feelings toward him. I hope this now opens the door 
We put the past behind us and this opens the door to AJ Lee finally coming back and taking her rightful place back in that ring. Again, I don't even give a shit if it's in a match, guys. Just come back, say what's up to your audience, your crowd, your fans that love you, you know, and you deserve that. AJ Lee deserves to hear that applause and get that adulation. You know, there's no reason she should have been gone for over five years when that company... You gotta look at what AJ Lee did in a short amount of time. She was only there for just a few uh, years, guys. And she was a multi-time Divas champion. She was the one of the, the only GMs, female-wise, in that company. Vince McMahon put so much stock in her that he gave her a general manager position. She was involved in some of the best storylines that we can remember, or at least, if not best, some of the most memorable ones. You remember when she was in that story with John Cena, Daniel Bryan, Kane, CM Punk, and she was kissing all of them? I mean, you can't forget that, that type of stuff and playing that crazy character. I, I mean, she did so much in such a short amount of time, and that's why I say it was a travesty that we have not seen her in over five years. You know, and we understand why you stand by your significant other, but man, the only problems she had with that company were because of the issues that the company had with CM Punk and vice versa, and that's what sucked. Hopefully now that this is starting to, everybody's starting to get over themselves in the situation, and hopefully now that CM Punk is back in the bubble, the WWE bubble, Hopefully now, AJ Lee, it is just a matter of time before she comes back. Again, it doesn't have to be a long wrestling tour. But, you know, to come back at, say, even the Royal Rumble. Imagine AJ Lee as a, a surprise participant in the Rumble. Pretty damn cool, right? Exactly. It's because she deserves it more than anything. But yes, it would be an awesome moment for wrestling fans, dude. You know, all I'm saying is this now opens the door. All we needed was the first step. I told you guys since I started this channel, it was going to happen. I took so much heat for this. He's never returning. AJ will never return. Let them live their lives. BC. And I'm like, what are you? I'm just talking about it. That's what I do on this channel. I talk about things and I know what's going to ultimately happen. And now it's actually starting to happen. I was right all along. I knew I was. Now everybody else's eyes that ever doubted, now they're being opened. Again, I'm not going to pat myself on the back. This isn't any reward for me. I just hope everything happens the right way going forward. I hope everyone can get over themselves and get over this bad situation. Years have passed. People have matured and grown up. And now they can all do business going forward. And everybody wins in the process. Vinnie Mac will win. Punk will win. All of us, the fans, will win. Hopefully. But AJ Lee, now the lookout is on her, man. Um, at least this started the process. The door is now open. CM Punk kicked that thing wide open. Kicked that thing down last night. And now AJ Lee can walk through it if she chooses to. You never know. You know, you don't know what the real talks are, but... At least the door is open now. And before it was just slammed shut for five years plus. Things just changed in the wrestling business last night. Don't think for one second this cannot and most likely will lead to something bigger. This is huge. CM Punk will now be talking about WWE. This isn't supposed to be every week, guys. He's going to be there a couple of times a month from what I'm hearing. But this is still CM Punk talking about WWE, rubbing shoulders with Vince McMahon's contracted talent every single week that he's on. This is huge. He's back in the bubble, whether you like it or not. But easily, it's only Fox. No, this is big. This is pretty fucking big. And I told you it was going to happen. AJ Lee, you're up. The Amplified, man. Again, thank you guys so much, man, for, uh, for sticking with the channel and um, being there for me when I didn't know what the hell was going on. And uh, I'm glad that I can always be there for you guys as well, entertaining you guys and filling you in on the pro wrestling news and my take on it and reviewing and critiquing this stuff right down the middle and as fair and as truthful as anybody in this community. And I take great pride in that. So thank you for allowing me to come into your homes or 
on your phones in the subway or walking to work or at work when you're listening to me, a lot of you guys. <laughs> Screw the work. The Amplified Man is on. I love you guys. I really do. Much love and respect always. And uh, uh, it's good to have the channel back up and running. And um, man, none of this happens without you guys. I am so honestly thankful. So we'll keep moving on. And uh, that's it. I'm going to get some, uh, some much needed things that needed to be accomplished yesterday. I'm going to get those done today because of the whole channel thing. I had to attend to that yesterday. And there was this snow that came in that canceled some of my, my meetings yesterday with people because people are scared of snow all of a sudden. What, what is happening to this world? <laughs> so anyway, there's a lot to do. So uh, unless anything really huge happens, this will not be a double video day. I gave you guys a lot this week already. I'll see you in the morning for the NXT AEW Duo Review. For now, kick Tuesday's, Wednesday's ass. What am I saying? Check you later. Ow!